Goosebumps, right? Well, anyway, primary season not over. Republican campaign chair John Cornyn kicks off a fundraising tour in his home state of Texas to build the bank accounts of a slate of first-time Senate candidates. One of them is Kelly Ayotte, former New Hampshire Attorney General, and an early Republican Party pick to face Congressman Paul Hodes in the state in the fall. Inconveniently, she still has a September primary, and in the live free or die state, challenger businessman Bill Binney uh, hasn't gotten the message to make way. He's hitting Ayotte on the air nonstop, doing his best to cast her as a Washington insider. Watch. Kelly Ayotte is an insider. The facts. Fact. She was handpicked by politicians and lobbyists in Washington and New Hampshire. Fact. She was always appointed, never elected. Fact. Her campaign has taken hundreds of thousands in special interest money, including Wall Street, tobacco, alcohol, insurance, pharmaceuticals, ExxonMobil, even Halliburton. Although third-party groups have hammered Benny and Ayat is leading in the polls, she's taking no chances. She just put her first ad attacking Benny by name. Watch. Trailing in the polls, liberal millionaire Bill Benny attacks Kelly Ayat. The union leader calls Benny's attacks an unsubstantiated smear campaign. Benny attacks to hide his own liberal positions. More bailouts, higher taxes, false attacks. That's liberal Bill Benny. Both candidates seem to be ignoring the state party chair, former governor, former Bush chief of staff, John Sununu, who asked them to keep the race positive. Benny released an open letter this week calling it a great idea, but sadly too late. By the way, the NRSC has recruited a bunch of candidates this year that have been on paper the best candidates to win some of these races. They just haven't survived these primaries. Ayotte is another big test for John Corn and the NRSC. They would like to see her survive to November.